In HealthWorks, a rare disease changed the shape of a young Dearborn boy's face until Beaumont doctors found a way to fight back. A grade school picture reveals a curious boy with a sweet grin, but Matt Hutzel's parents see something else. Um, it started as like a, just a red spot on his cheek. At the age of five, it's very subtle, but then becomes very noticeable. On his right side, Matt's face is slowly caving in. He's eventually diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, Perry Romberg morphia his body attacking the tissue in his face. They couldn't tell me too much about it because it's so rare. So I just had to keep looking up things and going to different doctors and finding out everything I could. Unfortunately, it's not reversible. Depression would last six hours. Without a cure, the Hutzels realized surgery is the only option. Beaumont Children's Hospital pediatric plastic surgeon, Dr. Chai said, is about to painstakingly transplant tissue from Matt's back into his face. It's a technical and demanding operation. There's so many things could go wrong. Are you nervous? Yeah. After one last kiss from Dad, Matthew is off to the OR for a lengthy surgery. It's called microsurgery, making sure tiny blood vessels connect and keep tissue alive, and creating symmetry with Matt's face. Just days later, I visit Matt in the hospital. Does it hurt to eat or to smile? Does it, does it hurt? It hurts to smile too much. Yeah. So I'm going to not tell you any really funny jokes, right? Right. He's covered in stitches and smiling despite the pain. Matt hopes after this, strangers will no longer ask. What happened to your face? In his room, you can hear the sound of a Doppler ultrasound, making sure blood is flowing from his neck to his forehead, feeding that new tissue. After the surgery, what was his reaction? He... He just now saw himself today, and it was for a split second. He saw the yellow things in his face, and he turned away. Okay. I think it kind of scared him. Looks good. The swelling had gone down by a bit. Oh, it has a lot. Right. Two weeks later, Matt is starting to look like that little boy we first saw grinning in that great school picture. And now he's getting stares for a good reason. My dad's always staring at my face. His dad keeps staring at his face and saying, I'm sorry I'm staring, but you just look amazing. And he does. He's a cutie, isn't mm -hmm. he? He's, he's a good cute. kid. Uh, and, uh, you know, very resilient. He's a kid who has he's taken, uh, you know, some people staring at him, people asking mm -hmm. what's wrong with you, and, um, and he's still smiling and happy as can be. Uh, now, that new tissue in place, the doctor believes that the disease will not come back. It's an autoimmune disease. It's rare. Mm -hmm. The face attacks the healthy tissue inside the face. Really bizarre. They hardly mm -hmm. ever see this. Um, so the new tissue, they say, you know, it hopefully won't come back. Dr. Chai said uh, the work that he does at Beaumont is supported by Children's Miracle Network. So we always like to point that out because we're a partner with Children's Miracle Network. And so we like to show you all that state-of-the-art equipment, not just helping kids like Matt, helping all kinds of kids. Mm -hmm. But you see some of that work being done. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's pretty incredible. It's mm -hmm. state-of-the-art what they're doing there. Yeah, we, we wish the best for him and his family. Yeah, I mean, yeah, really he's doing well. Story. And right so in time, cute. on his 10th birthday, he got those goofy stitches out. So it was a good birthday. And yeah. when he goes back to school, he definitely has a story he's a new to tell. man, yeah. They won't be asking him that anymore. Mm -hmm. He's got some battle scars. Mm -hmm. Tough kid. Yeah. Thanks, Dana. Yeah.